Well, you know, they have to be ready, and we're here outside of the Comatech building in Macomb County. And, you know, there's already been some reports of some hail this morning, and driving in on the way to work, it was kind of a lightning galore uh, coming into the station this morning, and you have to prepare yourself in case of your weather strikes. In 2021, this tornado ripped through Main Street in downtown Armada, leaving behind a trail of destruction. This building seen here on the corner is a business owned by Justin Sebra. It's not nothing to play around with and it's over in minutes and your whole life has changed. Thankfully, Sebra had already left his business, but the storm destroyed a home nearby and it left many families seeking shelter. It seemed like it was no big deal, but we started hearing that wind and seeing the branches. So we, we actually went into the bathroom, grabbed the kids and pillows and a flashlight and went into the bathrooms. Jay Berger lives a quarter mile away from where the tornado touched down. His house is a ranch with no basement and he and his family huddled in the bathroom. What was it like in those 15 minutes? It, honestly, it was stressful. Macomb County Director of Emergency Management Brandon Lewis wants people to take storm warnings seriously and have a plan in place for severe weather. Wind doesn't have to be a tornado to do significant damage. And we actually see quite a few straight line wind events every year that cause significant damage. If you do find yourself in a tornado warning or a severe thunderstorm warning, make sure you have a plan in place. You want to avoid windows and exterior walls, and if possible, go to a basement and be aware what is above you. And Keenan, uh, the Great Lakes Water Authority has issued a statement this morning that their uh, basically their storm drains are basically to capacity right now. So they're asking people who live in low lying areas and flood prone areas to remove all valuables from the basement. And you also want to make sure that well, your appliances are unplugged down there and make sure that you check your circuit breaker and cut the power to your basement. So if you do have to go down there, you will not get uh, electrocuted in the water. Reporting in Mount Clemens, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News.